later in this video. Who is that? All right, there we go, all done. All done with what, Belle? With the posters for the Valentine's Day dance. I've hung one in every hallway. Oh, fun! Are you head of the dance planning committee this month? Yep, and I'm so excited. I just love, love. Oh, me too. Valentine's Day is one of my favorite holidays. Lunch time! And lunch is one of my favorite meals. One of your favorites? What are your other favorites? Oh, breakfast and dinner and brunch and midnight snacks. <laughs> Oh, what's this? Oh, just some dumb poster Belle made for the Valentine's Day dance. Lame. Oh, Belle, I wonder if maybe this year she'll go with me. Blech! <laughs> you actually care about that nerd in the yellow dress, don't you? Of course! Don't you love Anna? Or, or Elsa? Or, or one of the two? <laughs> oh, that's a good one. Oh, wait, you're serious? No, I don't. I was just pretending to like them so I could take their kingdom. You dunce. Wait. Really? It sounds like you're the one with the frozen heart. How did I miss that part of the movie? You miss a lot of things, Gaston. But princesses are so nice and smart and help you with your homework after school if you promise to wear deodorant and stop being a villain. Princesses are foolish. That's why I'm always outsmarting them. Always singing to animals and dancing around with daffodils. Ugh. Hans, I'm gonna unfreeze your heart and teach you how to love. Pfft, no way. No way I would come. I'm not some sentimental fool. Wow, look at all this stuff. Isn't it neat? I know. Belle is head of the dance planning committee and I am head of the decorating committee. We've had so much fun planning this. This place looks amazing. Ariel, may I have the first dance? Absolutely. Let's go. <gasps> Rapunzel, Blen, you guys made it! We wouldn't miss it. Everything turned out amazing, Belle. <laughs> I couldn't have done it without you guys. Aw, shucks. Okay, everyone, it's time for Ladies' Choice. Princesses, choose your dance partner! Hmm, I wonder who I'll choose. Hey! Let's dance, reindeer boy. I'll take that as a compliment. Who are you gonna dance with, Elsa? Oh, I don't know. I'll probably just go check out the old snack table. Ooh, sounds like a good idea to me. Who is that. Thanks for coming to this dance with me, Maui. You're welcome. Uh, I guess I just walked right into that one. Haha, <laughs> yup. Maui. <laughs> Are you sure this is going to work? Don't we need disguises or something? Oh, Hans, 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 you are enough just the way you are. Hasn't anyone ever told you that? No. No one's ever said that to me. That's sad. That's a sad story. But tonight, you are going to get that fairy tale ending I know you've always dreamed of. Uh, look, look, over there. It's just Elsa? So what? Look at her, all alone. Her sparkly blue dress, uh, sparkling. Don't you want to ask her to dance? But didn't the announcement say the song was Lady's Choice? 
That's the rules. The only rules that matter are the rules inside your heart. <laughs> no, no, I, I, I couldn't ask her. Sure you could. Go on. Really? Huh. Um, hi. Hello. I'm Elsa. I'm Jack Frost. Would you like to, um, dance? Absolutely. What? Where did that guy come from? Yikes. He looks really cool. Literally. <laughs> Who cares? <laughs> no, not me. Not Hans Westergaard. I, I, didn't, I didn't even want to dance with her anyways. She's a dork. <laughs> oh, Hans, buddy, pal, man, buddy, you... We can't give up yet. Not when we come this far. Look around. There are plenty of girls to dance with. Let me show you how it's done. Belle, you really have done such a great job planning this dance. Have you ever thought about being an event planner? Thanks! I mean, yeah, I have that and a librarian, an author, a rose gardener, and... Um... Whoa! All at the same time? Yeah, why not? I'm a Belle of all trades. Oh, Belle! Give it up, Gaston! Alrighty then. Anyway, what was I saying? Oh yeah, Bell of all trades. Well, that went well for you. Quite you. I'm playing the long game. Obviously. I'm out of here, Gaston. Love is way too complicated. <laughs> Ruling the world is simple. To two. <laughs> Anna, check it out. Elsa's dancing with someone. <gasps> really? Who? No. It looks like Jack Frost. What? He's here? Aren't you the Snow Queen from Arendelle? Yeah! You've heard of me? Of course! You know, I have ice powers too. Whoa! I've never met anyone else that can do that! Oh, Burr! Did it just get really cold in here? Yeah, it's for fr freezing. Maybe we should dance faster. Good idea. <laughs> so where do you come from? I haven't seen you around school. Oh, I'm from all over the place. Being 300 years old means you really get to see some places. <laughs> 300 years old? Wow, you look really young for your age. Thanks, Elsa. I really like talking with you, too. I know, right? We have so much in common. We both have ice powers. We both have little sisters to save. Exactly. But unfortunately, I can't stay too long. I have business to attend to back at home. You know what it's like having superpowers. There's always some villain you gotta deal with, right? Oh, of course. Yeah, um, you'll have to come back soon and visit again sometime. That sounds snow perfect. Hang on. <clears throat> Excuse me, everybody. I just wanted to make a quick announcement. On behalf of the party planning and decorating committees, we wanted to thank you for coming to the Valentine's Day dance. Stay tuned. There will be more dances coming up this semester. Rapunzel, I, uh, noticed that Flynn wasn't around. Ugh, save it, Gaston. Flynn's right over there. Oh, fiddlesticks! Who's left for me to dance with? Ah. Moana, of course. She doesn't have feelings for that big lug with all those tattoos. Now's my chance. Ugh, I can't believe none of the princes have asked us to dance. We look great. Gorgeous. Young and gorgeous. What are we doing? It's 2019. A woman can ask a man to dance. Good luck. <clears throat> Hello, Prince Adam. I was wondering if maybe... Oh, hi there, Mrs. McDougal. 
I hardly recognized you. I'll be turning my English paper in a little early. Th oh, wait a second. Maleficent? Mrs. McDougal? You thought I was a teacher? That's it. To detention with you. Ugh. You know, I might consider dancing with you if I wasn't here with Belle, and if you were nice, and if you were not a villain. Ha <sighs> <laughs> ha! In your dreams, Beast Boy! Um, hello there. I was just rejected by the girl of my dreams. See, I kind of have this thing for smart, brave girls who go on big adventures. Uh, uh, uh. Anyway... I was wondering if you might maybe consider dancing with me. Of course. <gasps> no! It's like, first we go back to school and then voila! It's already homecoming season. I know, it feels like just yesterday I was at the beach building sandcastles and now it's spirit week. Time flies when you're having fun. <laughs> Speaking of fun, I am loving these wacky hairdos for Crazy Hair Day. We did good, ladies. More like hair don'ts, am I right? <laughs> hey, Merida. Our hair is so wacky, but that's what wacky hair day is all about. The wackier, the better. I know, right? I had no idea that School Spirit Week would be so much fun. I mean, first we had Pajama Day. Uh-huh, then we had Star Wars Day. And then there was International Food Day where we all dressed up as yummy foods. I was tikka masala. <laughs> and my favorite, Twin Day. Did someone say Twin Day? Hashtag twinning! No one twins like Gaston. No one wins like Gaston. No one participates spirit week like Gaston. LeFou, Gaston, why are you guys dressed the same? Why, hello there, my little belly button. Don't you know it's twin day for Spirit Week? Oh, Gaston, that was yesterday. You and LeFou are a day behind. I told you we shouldn't have skipped school yesterday. I mean, I told you we shouldn't have been sick with chicken pox yesterday. <coughs> Do people even get chicken pox anymore? And wouldn't you still be contagious? You better not be, don't get me sick. Anyways, as I was saying, I've come to propose. LeFou, the sign. The, the sign. Ta -da! Despite your very strange hairdo today, I'm willing to overlook it and ask you a very important question. Hello, Belle's hair is not weird. It's Wacky Hair Day, and we all have crazy hairdos. You guys just missed the memo. Oh, what a relief. I thought you'd gone off the deep end. Woo. Listen, Gaston, I think I know what you're gonna ask me, and the answer no, is- No, Belle, don't rush this. Will you be my date to homecoming dance? Will ya? Will you, Belle? Will you? Ooh, I can't watch. It's just so sad. Listen, Gaston, I'm flattered, but I can't. I'm sorry. I already told Prince Adam I go with him. Sorry. Might I suggest you go with one of the other girls in the village? Oh, better yet, Cinderella's stepsisters. You can go with Anastasia, and you can go with Drizella. <laughs> what a great idea, Merida. Thanks for the lovely suggestion. Shlafu, let's get out of here before anyone sees us with these awful haired people. Hey, that's not very nice. Besides, I like our wacky hair. Yeah, and he's just mad that he got turned down. Anyway, I almost forgot to ask, what are you guys wearing to homecoming tonight? I have the cutest dress. I can't wait to show you. I'm not going too fancy. It's not really my style, but I hear Dingwall might brush his hair this year, so yay! Oh! Well, I have to tell you about my homecoming date. My homecoming date is... There's the me! Get it? The bell? All right, school's done for the day. I'll see you ladies tonight! Wait, we don't wear our wacky hair to homecoming, do we? Oh, no, no, no. You want to change your hair back to normal because you wouldn't want to be crowned homecoming queen looking like a sci-fi character. <laughs> All right, bye! 
Belle thinks she can ditch me at the homecoming dance, does she? Well, I don't think it was personal. I mean, maybe she just had another plan already. Plan, you say? Oh, I have a plan, all right. Gaston, what are you brewing? I've seen that face before. No, nothing. It's just if Belle doesn't want to go to homecoming with me, she'll have a change of heart once we're both crowned king and queen. Then she'll have no choice but to dance with me. But don't you have to be voted in by the other students? And don't you have to have a dance routine with your partner? Looks like we better get ready for tonight, LaFou. Come on, let's go. I have a certain purple mistress I need to call in for a favor. I was afraid you were gonna say that. I'm gonna have the bravest day to the homecoming dance tonight. Hey, Merida. Oh, hey, thing. Well, you combed your hair for homecoming dance. You noticed. <laughs> and you're wearing the same dress you always do. No, don't. This is my final dress for special occasions. So your mother and father are coming to be alumni chaperones. Bye, I hope not. Me mum's turned into a bear again. That might give the students a fright. Well, let's be on our way. Music, friends, and food. What more could I ask for? Tonight is going to be so much fun. Are you coming, Flynn? Oh, yes, I am. Sorry, I thought I saw your mother. Well, I mean, I thought I saw Mother Gothel. Wanted to make sure it wasn't her. Oh, don't be so paranoid, Eugene. Now, come on, we're going to miss the pictures. It's Flynn. Belle, I am so excited that the homecoming dance is finally here! I know, I can't wait to see who's going to be homecoming king and queen! <laughs> I know, right? It's going to be such a tight race for homecoming king and queen. Speaking of, is Prince Adam coming tonight? He wasn't sure he's going to make it. He's on a very important wolf rescue mission, but he's going to be here, I'm sure of it. What about your date? Oh my goodness, I cannot wait for everybody to see who my homecoming dance partner is. It's a big secret. Ooh, I can't wait to find out. Oh, Elsa, the music's starting. This homecoming dance is so chill. Sure is. <laughs> Couldn't have said it better myself. Yeah, wait until you see our dance routine. There won't even be a need for a vote. Oh, I'm sure. But Anna, Crystal, make sure y'all don't freeze out there because of your movie, get it? Frozen, free. <laughs> Good one. <laughs> I don't get it. Me neither. Anyways, Anyways this, this is, is my jam. jam. <laughs> See you kids later. Come on, Christoph, let's go dance. The most handsome student and soon to be homecoming king has arrived. Oh, uh, if you're gonna be homecoming king, can I be homecoming duke or prince or earl? Wow, if it isn't the most handsomest student at the homecoming dance. <laughs> I was just saying that. It's like you read my mind. Yeah, you ought to be homecoming king with me as your queen. You no, know, Anastasia, with me as Ladies, your queen. ladies, calm down. One of you can be LeFou's dance partner, you know? Yeah, I I'm really experienced. I mean, other than swing, I can do the, the kiki, and I can dab, and that, that one, this one, the floss thing. Yeah, I really get that one. Mm, nah. You know I'm the better dancer, Gaston! You wish, Anastasia! Everybody knows that Gaston and I would be like a fruit basket. The perfect pair! <laughs> uh, speaking of fruit basket, that's banana! You wish! Ah! I am! Listen, Gisela, Anastasia, Drizella, obviously. Obviously. Tomato potato, if you want to be my dance partner, I need your help. Follow me. But, but Gaston, are you stirring up trouble? I thought we were going to practice our dance moves like this. Hello, students, and welcome to this year's back-to-school homecoming dance. 
as you well know, the festivities started off really spirited for this Spirit Week. And to finish it all off, we are going to crown Homecoming King and Queen. <laughs> as Simba would say, Oh, I just can't wait to be king. Shh, Aladdin. I love your enthusiasm, but wait, the teacher's still explaining the rules. This year, we're gonna have a dance battle. You'll all get to oogie boogie and oot scoot on the dance floor and vote because the winner will become homecoming king and queen. Are you ready? <laughs> We're ready to dance, aren't we, ladies? Hey! They ditched us for Merida's brothers! <gasps> what? But don't they know how great of a dancer I am? No one dances like Gaston, didn't like Gaston. All right, let's let this dance party begin. Flynn, Rapunzel, why don't you start off this competition for us? So much fun, Elsa! Totally! And to think no villain has tried to mess it up yet! That's so true! I just hope Prince Adam shows up soon so our chances of being homecoming king and queen don't get messed up! Oh, I'm sure he'll be here soon. He's probably just stuck in traffic. quite lonely. Where's the beast? He's not here yet, and he goes by Prince Adam now. Sure he does, if that's even his real name. What are you even saying, Gaston? Listen, I think it's time you lose the zero and get with the real hero. When have you ever had a heroic moment in your whole life? Well, I'm about to save you from the embarrassment of not being named Homecoming Queen. You, me, dance floor. Mm, no, thank you. No, thank you? How dare you be so rude? Rude? Ay, ay, ay. When will you learn, Gaston? Bell! Uh, oh, Bell Pepper, I was only kidding. <sighs> Where is she? She was supposed to be here by now. So this is where the homecoming dance is held. I've always wanted to be homecoming queen. Hmm. I better go get ready. Hmm, much better. May I have this dance? You betcha. Let's win this. Excuse me, ma'am. Can you direct me to the homecoming dance? Ma'am? Why, hello there. I would be happy to direct you anywhere. <laughs> so you know where the homecoming dance is then? I'm Prince Adam, Belle's date. Belle's date? Oh, I see. Well, I'm Mel Melanie, Gaston's friend. Perhaps we could walk to the dance together. Uh, sure, I suppose. That's quite an outfit you have on. Is it a costume for your dance routine? Oh, this old thing? What kingdom did you say you were from? A far, far away land. Oh, look! There's my homecoming dance partner now! Yoo-hoo, Elsa! It's me, Orkin! Sorry I'm late. Oh, it's no problem. Sorry I had to keep you waiting. I had to close up at the trading post. No problemo. You're here now, and that's all that matters. Are you ready to go out there and show them your cool dance moves? You know it, Ice Queen. No one's moves are as quite cool as ours, quite literally. Come on. May I have this <gasps> dance? Of course you may, Adam. I'm so glad you made it. We're up next. Oh, no, he doesn't. Quick, LeFou, to the dance floor. So there you are. You had me waiting outside for an hour. I don't know why you're waiting outside. The dance is inside. 
Why do I even bother with you low-level villagers? Listen, purple people eater. Do you want to be homecoming queen or not? Of course, I've always wanted to be queen or homecoming queen. Well, now here's your chance. Let's go out on that dance floor and show them that we deserve those crowns. But Gaston, I thought I was your dance partner. Sorry, LeFou, I've upgraded. Yes, everyone knows I'm the mistress of darkness. And dance. But Gaston, you promised. <sighs> Fine, you can dance with us, but in the corner. The far corner. Oh, yay. This is the moment I've been waiting for. Hi! <laughs> How rude! Is that that, um, sorcerer lady from Aurora's movie? Yeah, what's her name? You mean Maleficent? What would she be doing here? Adam, we're up next! This is going to be great! <gasps> you, Elsa, I was thinking, what if I do backflip and throw you in the air like little snowball? Oh, um, that sounds great and all. How do you know how to do all that? Hi guys, it's Belle and Prince Adam, and for our homecoming dance, we're gonna do the beast! your vote for homecoming king and queen. Now the way it'll work is you'll put your votes for homecoming king and queen in this voting box. And whoever has the most votes wins. Our turn to vote. Here's mine for the queen and for the king. <laughs> this is so exciting, but hard to choose. They're all so great. Okay, how this will work is LeFou will put this stack of Gaston votes in the box for Homecoming King, uh -huh. and this stack of Maleficent votes in the box for Homecoming Queen. Actually, it's Melanie. <laughs> Who's Melanie? Me, you fool. I told that dreamboat Prince Adam that was my name when I ran into him outside. Wait a gosh darn minute, you were late to the dance because you were talking to the beast? <gasps> and to think I trusted you. 
cool your jets guest on. He merely just showed me to the dance since someone didn't meet me outside like they said they would. <sighs> All right, LeFou, take these votes and change the name to say Malony. I will go create a distraction while you put it in. Thank you, LaFool. I'll be over at the Fruit Punch Bowl practicing my acceptance speech in case anybody needs me. Freeze it, LaFou. You're quick. Take these. What are those? These are Belle's voter cards. I want you to stick them in the homecoming box. Wait, I thought you just said you wanted me to change the cards to Melanie or whatever her name is. <laughs> Maleficent, homecoming queen. <laughs> As if. I only said that because she was here. Oh, I want you to change it to Belle, my true queen. Well, okay, but she won't get mad. She won't know if somebody keeps their mouth shut. Now go and hurry and I'll go create a distraction. Elsa, I am totally voting for you and Oaken. I couldn't believe you guys could move like that. Thanks, Belle. You totally had the moves also. Oh, and Jasmine and Aladdin, they are really good too. That is so hard. I don't want to choose. Just go with your heart, Merida. Why is everyone always saying that to me? Hey, Teach! Uh, uh, quick! Ursula, the super bad witch lady, is doing uh, bad magical spell things in the school pool! What? Not if I have anything to say about that! Quick, LeFou, now's your chance. Belle! If it isn't my little Liberty Belle, have I ever told you the time I went? Oh boy, I hope we don't get caught! LeFou, just the person I wanted to see. I wanted to double check that you spelled Melanie correctly. Now, let me see those votes. Uh, I I'm sorry, I, I can't. What's that supposed to mean? Why are you being so shady? Are you a cloud or something? Hand them over. Uh, uh, uh oh. Belle, how could you, LeFou? Is this some sort of joke? I let you dance with me. Uh, it wasn't my idea. It was Gaston's. He got mad at you because you were outside hanging out with Beast or Adam, so we switched him to Belle. Oh, he did, did he? <laughs> well, two can play that game. Plans have changed, LeFool. It's LeFou. Whatever. You're looking at your new homecoming queen. And my king? Oh... That will be Adam. <laughs> no one dances like Gaston. Whew, I'm so good at this. Gaston, are you sure you saw Ursula over there at the pool? Because, you know, we just can't have a villain sneaking around our homecoming dance. Oh, uh, did I say Ursula? I meant I saw a highly suspicious pool noodle. Several of them, actually. It just reminded me of Ursula. Why were you in the school pool anyways? Anyway, it looks like everybody's done voting, so if you could go announce the winners, that would be great. Gaston, you better not be up to any funny business. I got my eye on you. Gaston! We've got a bit of a situation! Not now, LeFou. The teacher is about to announce that I am homecoming king. All right, all right. The time has come to see who you all voted for for your homecoming king and queen. Woo! Woo! Uh, it's happening, they're gonna announce the winners. I know, this is so exciting. I've been waiting for this moment ever since school started. Now this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Your homecoming king is... Yay, I won, I won, I'm finally king. What? Gaston is homecoming king? This can't be right. No way, everyone's dancing was better than his. Who voted for him? Is this thing rigged? Did the teacher even say his name? <laughs> Boy, is he about to be embarrassed. Oh, hey, nice hair. What's your name? Are you looking for a mistress of darkness? I brought my own crown! I knew I was going to beat each and every one of you. You can now call me king. Gaston, what are you doing? You are not the homecoming king. What do you mean? I don't understand. Now please put your hands together for your real homecoming king, Prince Adam! 
<laughs> what? I won? Homecoming King? Yay! I'm so proud of you. You deserve it. But I won! Fair and square! All right, Gaston. Now it's time to find out who our homecoming queen is. Good luck, ladies. Thanks, Jazz. You too. I'd be happy if any one of us win. Truly. Me too. We're all deserving of homecoming queen. <gasps> Fingers crossed. Your homecoming queen is... It looks like we have a tie. A tie? Does that mean I get to pick the winner then? No, not exactly. Your homecoming queens are... Belle and... Melanie. Yay, Belle won! Wait, who's Melania? Yeah, who is she? I've never heard of her. Is she new? Yay, Belle, you won! I'm so happy for you! I can't believe I won! Or tied. This is crazy! Belle, Melanie, it's time to make your way to the dance floor. We're gonna solve this the old-fashioned way. A dancer! Maleficent? What are you doing here? Didn't you hear? I'm the new homecoming queen. What? No, you're not. Yet. Did you cheat somehow? Shh. Save it for the dance floor, sweetheart. Hit the music, DJ. Stop the music! Stop the music! This student is an imposter! Her name is not Melanie, it's Maleficent. <gasps> How dare you, Gaston. Maleficent cheated. She added her and Beast's name into the ballot box. <sighs> she cheated and I should be homecoming king. He's the cheater. He begged me to come and change the votes. Do you even go to this school? <laughs> well, as far as I'm concerned, you cheated and cheers never prosper. So, you guys are disqualified. I think we should take a vote. Prince Adam is your homecoming king, and so who should be your queen? Shout out the name right now. Belle, choose Belle. She should be paired with Adam. But wait, what about us? Uh, maybe next year, Dingwall. Yeah, I say Belle for homecoming queen. Yoo-hoo, I say Belle. I loved her dance moves. Choose Belle! Yeah, go Belle! Okay, well the crowd has spoken. Your homecoming queen is... Belle! Please make your way to the dance floor for a winner's dance. And Gaston and Maleficent, I'd like to see you in my office now! Yeah, they did do a great job. Wow, man, they sure can dance. Where do you think they learned that? <gasps> oh, no, you don't. Teacher, I believe you're looking for them. <laughs> 